I can never get tired of this title screen. Ever. It's just so good. It, it It's one of those, like, um, like, super simple ones that, like, it speaks for itself, you know? Between just being a nice, like, background, the time of day changing, the phenomenal music, like, you just can't get over it. Also, F in chat for Galahad Fortress. Kaboom. Um, I have no idea how far we're going to get today. Because there are two possible places I could think to stop. But I need to see how far we can get and how long it takes us to do so. That's kind of that's kind of the important thing here. Um, I'm just I'm I'm just thinking right now. That that's besides the point. Um, mic check, mic check. One two three ABC. We, how do we sound? I'm, ju I'm I'm just thinking right now. Balance sounds good. I think we're all set. Uh, transition. What's going on, guys? Pirates of Impetus here today, and we are done. We are starting chapter 12 in this game, and my god, it's a wild ride. 12, 12 is one of the more chill chapters, but there's some, like, whoa, like, exposition moments. And you'll see. It's been a long time since I last had this dream. Oh, Shulk's kid model looks so much better. I reached out for a piece of scrap metal. And then I fell. Into the ground. Does he still use Juju's voice? Oh, that's not here. That's a little later bit. Was I... Was I... Dreaming? Uh. Vera! No, we get a little hermit crab. What's that? Okay, important question. Uh, you can Galahad Fortress is way over th there, like behind that bush. Or like, it, at least it was. It was, like, it was like way up there. How did we fall and ended up on the other side of Fallen Arm? Genuine question. I never really understood that, but it's besides the point. Um, I'm going to... I need to sneeze. Hmm. <laughs> Whew. I'm going to set it to just at daybreak. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. There we go. That that's That's like just the right time. That's what I was going for. Atmosphere. Fiora. <sighs> he was using an elytra and flew to the side. Yeah. Stuck the Monado over his shoulders and flew like like they had wings. Fiora. She's still breathing. Huh? Is this piece? Oh yeah, it's still desynced from the model. Wake up. Uh, uh, 
Come on. Wake up. <sighs> she needs water. Pro survival tip. If you ever lost at sea, never drink seawater. The, uh, the salt in it will actually dehydrate you more than if you uh, use fresh water. Or rather, fresh water will just hydrate you. Drinking salt water will dehydrate you more than hydrate you, you know. Always boil it. Lucky number seven. Yeah, big fact. We're going to have to kind of play around with party members now, but we'll get there. Mouth to mouth. Survival. Fiora, you're awake. Um, do you remember? My name is Sh oh, I can't believe it. My first kiss. You we got her. her! Yay! Fiora. Of course I do. Shulk. <laughs> oh yeah, I I love using using her. But like we have to get her affinity up with other party members. So that's why I'm saying we got to shuffle around and and get her in in our rotations, you know. We're absolutely using her. That's a fact. Her new model looks so good. I wasn't me anymore. I wanted to Fiora's old model was a blurry disaster. This one looks so much sharper. When it happened. When Colony 9 was attacked by the Mechon. I thought I had died. I felt the Mechon's claw rip through me. I couldn't remember anything. There was no sound, no light, no pain. When I came round, does it? I had the body of it looks shield. the same as far as I can tell. And it just looks a lot clearer, like, like on the details. I don't know, maybe I have to look at it again. Because it looks pretty much the same. As far as I can see. Someone else? The one who was controlling the Mechon you were in? Yes, that voice. But I could still see and hear. It, it, it like, you could see the joints in her fingers and everything. Like, it, it, no control over it's so body. much clearer. That's why it seemed like you didn't recognize us. Yes. Inside my heart, I was crying out desperately. But you didn't hear me. Nobody did. We always believed it was you. It's okay. You don't have to say that. I know it would have confused me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I follow. But... The person inside you. Do you know who it was? No. I heard her. Her other outfits. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Her other armor will be a lot clearer. I mean, granted, I'm not changing the armor just because like consistency. But still, yeah, you're right. What do you think happened to her? Maybe she's sleeping, or maybe she's trapped like I was. I hope she stays trapped, hijacking your body. Treating it like it's her own. I... I guess. I say good riddance. And let that be the end of it. Um, Shulk. I don't think she's totally to blame. Why not? She needed my body for something. I don't know what it was. Like her other armor more than this one. Important. 
Which one do you do prefer, speed or attack or? Because I know this is technically like the ether frame, quote unquote. She was kind. She was taking care of my body. I could feel it. Really? Yeah. And she did everything she could to protect you. So you missed part of the. Th so okay. Base. All right. All right. Catch up time for you, cubing. Um, we were up on Sword Valley, the sword of the Mechonis that attaches to the Bionis, and, and we we went and attacked the Mechon Fortress to get Fiora back. Um, in the process, the for the fortress was destroyed. Um, everything went kaboom, and everyone fell off the sword and was split up. So right now we we only have Shulka for Fiora. Like here's some of the the battle that happened. She knew what I wanted to do, Mixed speed and, attack. and did it for me. So, I want to help her if I can. Please, Shulk. All right. Then we'll do everything we can to find out what she was trying to do. Hmm. Thank you. Welcome back, Fiora. She's alive! Wee! Her eyes are much more either her eyes are more green or Shulks are a lot more blue. I don't I don't know, know which. We have to find the others. I know they're alive. I can feel it. Everyone's gonna be surprised when they see you. Everyone being Ryan, Dunban, and there are a few others we met along the way. Sharla, Ricky. Ooh, that you. tree back there does not look good with the depth of field. It looks like you've been through a lot as well. Yeah. But nothing's going to separate us now. Come on. Let's start searching. Okie dokie. Really good dodge tank if set up right. Also sword. Oh yeah, sword drones are busted. They, I, like, didn't realize it until, like, I played the game, I think, twice. I think it was the third time I, I ever played it. A couple, of, like, two years ago or so. Um, that I got sword drones. I was like, oh my god, how did I not use these before? Uh, there's nothing over here. One of the super bosses in the game actually spawns down here after events later in the story. Yeah, Cubing, we were way up there on the other side of the sword. Um, and then we basically tore the house down. <laughs> uh, okay. So yeah, Super Boss spawns right over there. Um, it's like a, I think, level 112 Ancient Daedala. But, obviously it's not here right now. Come on, Fiora. The run speed bonus is kicking in. Yeah, no, the the vi there's a crazy vista in this area that we'll get to that you just get a sick view of the Bionis and the Mechonis. But now we're just on the fallen arm that was taken off in the, the very intro cutscene, that flashback. They're probably going to attack. Oh, we have to get Fiora's arts level. That buddy's looking the other way. Um, Hang on. Priority one. Oh, we have a ton of points. 26,000. Let's get backslash up. And then... I want to put some points into Buster. Into Purge. I guess we'll do Speed, too. I don't really see much reason to upgrade Enchant any further, so... We're going to be using Buster significantly more now, though. So I want to make sure that has plenty of points. Uh, Fiora. All right, what have, what have we got? Looking pretty good already. We're gonna replace healing energy eventually. Does she have? Yeah, double double wind. I want to put on instead of lock on. So I'm gonna be, have eventually have dumb Ben handling my tanky stuff. And then when we unlock Final Cross later on, then we'll put that in. Mm. 
Ricky, but even more ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, whoops. I just swapped that. I want that over there. Okay, let's get some points in here. She's got a lot of arts to level. Uh, huh. 13,000. Not as many as I expected. Your fang. Cross impact. Yep. Uh... Do I level our fang already? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, we'll do ether drain and zero gravity. I think we'll have enough points for all of them. But yeah, honestly, that's fine for now. I'm not going to bother, really, with uh, better skills. Oh, Shulk is done, so let's get him building the other ones. Oh, her affinity's already looking good. She needs a lot of points. <laughs> we gotta we gotta do some work with Fiora. Uh Agility, yep. Ether that could be Agility, yep. <laughs> Physical and ether defense, that sounds pretty good. We do equipment, yeah, we could maybe use that. Eh. Ryan. AP up, that could be good. Reduce the effect of spice, increases aggro drawn. Eh. I don't really want to do any of those right now. Movement speed. Cool down. That's not bad. Oh wait, that means yeah, we that means we gotta do some skill swapping for like all of our characters, don't we? Double win, final cross are going to be your main objective for getting level 10 art books. Yeah, I mean, those are very good ones to get. Double win, I, I really like. And final cross is obviously busted. But we don't have that yet. Actually, do you think we should fight these just to get... Mm, I'm not going to bother since we're already up here. But I think we should probably fight a couple enemies, get some XP for Fiora. Or AP, rather. Get, get her arts and skills going, you know. Shulk is just like, bye. Shulk. Fiora. What's wrong? Sorry. My body feels a bit strange. I think I just need to rest. I'm sorry. It's okay. We can take a break here. Hmm. I wonder what happened after the fortress. Where did the others all end up? Oh, the Monado looks good. The Monado's light is fluctuating. That Mekon really messed it up. But still, I have to protect Fiora. Shulk, can't you sleep? Sorry, did I wake you? No. <laughs> Dude, okay. you were the only one talking. Of course you woke really her. Well. You want to eat? You must be hungry. No, thanks. But I'd like some water. Oh, this theme. Okay. You should eat. Even if you're not hungry. You need to get your strength back. <sighs> No, I'm fine. This body has its uses. I never need to eat. I never get hungry. I just run on water. Don't worry. <sighs> I prefer my old body. But this one has some advantages. Shulk. 
You can leave me. It's okay. What? I mean, look at me, Shulk. <laughs> you can leave me. Oh, well, we just walked Otherwise across the entire Biotis to get you back. We are not leaving you now. The Fiora you knew is dead. Just think of it like that. It's for the best. But I can see it's not true. I mean, you're right here. I'll never forget how I felt when I thought I'd lost you back at the colony. Also, bonus points to Shulk being I able to balance the Minato like that. I thought if only I had the power to save you. Shulk. No. No more regrets. I will protect you. Besides, there's someone else inside your head. We can't leave her there. Mm, I guess not. Woo! Those have more punch than I remember. No, no, not now. Shulk, let me. Be all right. Right. Come on, Manada. Don't let me down. You can the ditch Manada me, Shulk. <laughs> yeah, no, that's literally what she said. Literally. I won't let you take her from me. This time, I will protect Fiora. Did they change the camera shot ever so slightly on that last one? That looked a little different. I can do this. Yeah, it's just some ordinary mech on. We're fine. Uh, line this up. Boom! Oh, I thought that would have... We're fine. Easy peasy. I'm gonna get my talent gauge back up a little bit. The music, though. I know, right? The Monado. It worked, but... I feel worse than before. Whatever he did to the Monado is... What's that sound? No! We're surrounded! Shulk, it's literally two of them. You just fought off three. <laughs> like, I get it, you're trying to be dramatic, but come on. Make it like four. Oh, mechanical rhythm? It's so good. We already heard it up in Galahad Fortress. Where are we? It's so good. You're up then. Charla. What happened to us? I don't know. I've only just come round. Where are the others? I look for them, but they're nowhere to be seen. Oh. Ah, uh, that Fine. would... That would explain. Um, thanks. Huh? For protecting me, back there. Yeah. It got rough, but at least you got out safe. What is it? Look at me. I'm useless. Can't even keep a promise. I promised Fiora I'd look after Shulk. Stupid. You promised to protect the guy who protects you. Am I missing something? In the old days, Shulk was kind of frail. You know, like Aww. a little bunny that gets bossed around by the other colony animals. I love this little heart-to-heart -heart they have. To save him. That's why I promised Fiora. But now look at me. Ryan. He's stronger now. And not just because he's got the Monado. I've done all I can to help him. He doesn't need me. That's not the Rhine I know. No, we need our tank! <laughs> Do you remember Colony 6? Yeah. The Mekon were always on the doorstep of our home, the Colony. Thinking about it, I realized they were after the ether underneath it. Yeah, I suppose so. If they could stockpile energy from there, 
They could get to any part of Bionis. The Colony 6 Defense Force suffered its fair share of pain. And not just physical. Mm. Friends and family. Alive one day. Gone this, the next. This scene makes me wish all the heart to hearts were voiced in the original. They 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 voiced them all in two, which was a very nice touch. But I wish they did it here too. As part of the remaster. But nobody ever gave up. And you know why? Because you were strong? We had no choice but to be strong. Everybody had someone to protect. The moment you looked away, I'm you trying to imagine Charlotte wearing like, those goofy so goggles, but <laughs> I just can't do it. We couldn't stop fighting. Man, that's tough. Puts my problems into perspective. I suppose I should get back to being Ryan. Don't go doubting. That's true. Life, even that's if things true. get tough. You're right. There'll be plenty of time to stare at my feet when I'm old and crooked. Get it? I get it. So now what? We go looking for Shulk and Fiora. I might be like a third wheel, but I can still lug around the heavy stuff. There you Finally, go. Finally, that's the Rhine I know. Um, back there. Were you talking about that guy Gabo? Not just about him. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, seems like tough competition for a guy like me. <laughs> Rhine. Ah. Ryan time. Do you think Shulk and the others are okay? Of course they are. They wouldn't. And Charlotte in a like pirate that. outfit. Yeah, really. <laughs> Back to your old self, I see. Right, we better get looking. Okay. Uh. Couple of collectibles we can grab while we're over. Oh, there's a, a thingamajig. It's a, oh, it's ice. I thought I was tempted to do it. I can't. I can't ruin the cutscenes in this game, man. As much as I would want to do it for the laughs, we can go back to the the events theater at like a later day, and like just screw around with with outfits and stuff. But for the main purposes of the playthrough, no, I I have to do it with their normal outfits. Huh. Don't worry, that's my job. Yeah. I feel like that would be a fun YouTube series. Ruining Xenoblade's cutscenes with dumb outfits. Aw. Someone's in a fight up ahead. I, I, this is a good theme, but they just use it too much. Shulk, Ryan, I got your back. I use all custom what characters. Yeah. Right. I, I like this theme a lot, but they just use it too much in this game. That's why I was happy in two that there's a lot more. Oh, I wanted to. Um, I wanted to use. I'm sorry, my, my brain is jelly right now. I'm happy that they had more boss battle themes throughout the game, like for each of the different bosses. Hey, look at me. I haven't seen a single Good break for them. I knew you'd make it, Shulk. Thanks to you. Ryan Resort outfit. <laughs> Ryan, it's you. Fiora. She remembers us. Yeah. She's been through a lot. This awkward shot. <laughs> No, th wait, there's one more really goofy camera shot, I remember. Yeah, it'll be blubbering at the sight of us. <laughs> I don't think he'd ever cry in front of you two. So he does cry? When no one's watching? Yep. He's always been like that. 
He's a big softie, but he hates anyone seeing it. I never knew. No, I don't believe it. Hmm. Take it easy. Oh, I'm okay. I want to see my brother. Let's go. Well, we gotta find him first. If you can't walk, I'll carry you. I'm much heavier now. I've been pumping my guns. See you, Cubing. Hey, Tom. The, the, this camera shot, they just lingered on Ryan for way too long. Like. <laughs> I wanted to, but it feels more like he's the one who's been protecting me. That's not true. It's okay. I know it, you know it. I'm not here to protect you anymore. But you are here for something. Yeah. What I did just now. It don't matter how strong you get, you ain't got eyes in the back of your head. Facts. So I've got your back. Ryan, you... Ryan, you're like a whole new person. What do you mean by that? I mean, it's good you've become so dependable. Was I that undependable before? <laughs> Take it as a compliment. <laughs> ha. Ryan, Dumbad's a big softy? False. <laughs> I call false. Right. Let's go. You want to see my brother cry, don't you? Yeah, wouldn't miss it. Well, I mean, Ryan is 6'2. Shulk, I think, is 5'8. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, someone convert centimeters to inches for me. I, th I think he's 5'8. Ryan, I know, is 6'2 on the nose. Um... Affinity chart's looking pretty good. We're doing better. Dumbman's up to blue with Ryan. That's good. Uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna change our party a bit. We're get Fiora in here. I'm gonna put Ryan on the back because that'll let us have the higher affinity between he and Shulk. It'll be good for chain attacks. Five foot seven. Yeah, close enough. Alright, let's let's get some points for Fiora because she is lacking compared to the others right now. Because we just got her back. Oh, that new version of Mechanical Rhythm! I need like a long battle so I can like let it play. Yeah, this one we we got two of them here. I'm just gonna back up and let it play. Listen to that! They doubled down on, like, the, the grunge factor in it. I love it. It works so well. Take him down. Easy. Is Ricky Melia and Dunban? Because it's just the soul faction. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, Shulk is not fun when you're fighting Aether enemies. We gotta go down here, right? Do we have to come down here? Oh, wait, no, we don't. I don't need to be down here at all. I know we're gonna have to fight those later for to get, like, Upa or Yupa Enders, Embers, whatever. Whatever they're called. For that one quest, but that's fine. Oh, that violin! Wow! Listen to that music, man. Here we are. That's that's so cool. Just looking up and seeing the Makanis. To think that this whole thing used to once be its hand. No wait, wait, I wanna get get me up there. Like that's crazy. Oh, facing the wrong way. Fine, good enough. That's absolutely mental. 
Uh, wait, let me let me fix the camera. Too close. It's a little too close. That's better. Here we are. What is it? I can hear something. What? I can't hear anything. Maybe our sense of hearing isn't strong enough. Low sound. More than one. Watch out! Something's here! <sighs> Real. Welcome back, Cubing! Stop for Ricky. Oh, Ricky, very hungry, and Ricky sleepy. If Ricky not rest now, Ricky not keep going. Hmm. Well, we can't have that, can we? We'll rest here before going any further. Melia, do you need to rest? I am fine. Good. Break time. Yeah. This is another really nice cutscene. Or dialogue, whatever. Fish. Hmm. What's this? Kill upon Ricky, have big fight with fish. Ricky win. Grilled fish taste yum yum. Ah, dum dum eat too. I thought you said you couldn't move if you didn't rest. But Ricky very high. Smart Ricky time. <laughs> How considerate of you. Hmm. Ricky not understand, Dun Dun. Don't try to hide it. You realize Melia was lagging behind. She would never admit how tired she was. That's the real reason you ask. That's good fish. Even in this strange place, at least the fish tastes like it should. Ricky, glad I gotta imagine that's probably some fish. fresh fish. Yeah. Thank you. Millie is tired, but Ricky tired too. And Dundon not look happy. What's this? Am I that transparent? Ricky want to hear Dundon's Dun story. Ricky, listen carefully. For Ricky is the hero bond. I'm not sure what that's got to do with it. Well, seeing as you're here, I'll tell you. Yeah! Ricky, listen. I have a sister. Her name is Fiora. Ricky, no. She wears silver armor. Shulk look everywhere for Level her. Level 10, some... Indeed. Oh, yeah. I got that. I did that Fiora. quest. Everyone knows they like That's the one with the telescope. But they're just not ready, I suppose. They're the perfect match, but if they don't hurry up and tell each other... Even Ricky know that. I suppose everyone does. But now Fiora has become... something else. She forget Shulk. She forget Dundun too. She did. But Shulk won't give up that easily. Knowing that he's out there looking for her fills me with hope. I just wish I was there with him. Dun Dun, take care of them. Hmm? Dun Dun, watch over Shulk. Dun Dun, watch over Fiora. That is all a daddy pawn can do. Huh. Ricky, make mistake. Dun Dun, ah! daddy pawn. They, they changed his facial expression there. I am her older brother. But just like daddy pawn, watch Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Same watch over. Dun Dun do what he must. Huh. Who would have thought it? I never imagined I'd be getting such You a go nice into that, that treasury for Ricky the telescope the quest. Family of little bon. Ricky raise and say goodbye to many little bon. Ricky know some things. You can say that again. I had you all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. No problem. You're good.
It doesn't look like the others are here. Unfortunate. I hope everyone's safe. Everyone's safe! Everyone's strong! Ricky is right. It is simply a matter of when we will happen across them. Everyone landed in the same area. They have to be around here somewhere. Friends, look here! Ricky find it yesterday when Ricky goes scouting! Find it yesterday when he goes scouting. It's literally three feet behind them. <laughs> uh, I wonder where this pipe leads. Go, go! Ricky has feeling Shulk and friends are on other side. Feeling? Well, I'm willing to give your knock on instinct a try. As am I. The pipe it is. Here we go. I saw a collectible. I wanted it. <laughs> what a guy. Being no, only having one arm that's functional. Complete. Complete legend. Oh, he might have gone in. I understand. I see what you mean. Yeah, we're fine. In we go. Now, we've made it. The High Ent- or not High Entia, the Hidden Machina Village. A village in a place like this. Malia! Shulk! Guys! You were all right! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> and <laughs> we found Fiora. Dunban. Fiora? Yes, the Machina. Do you remember me? Mm hmm. Sorry if I made you worry. It's all right. I'm just so glad you're alive. Oh, they even, you can even see his like eyes quivering. Oh, oh that's so nice. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations. I'm glad she is safe. Thank you. <laughs> the laser eyes from Melia. Without you. But how did you all get here? And what is this place anyway? <gasps> These people helped us. Huh? This is their home. Your surprise is understandable. We are the Machina. Oh, Lenata looks great. You can actually like see their faces, and they actually like glow. That's so cool. You mean machine people. You look as if you have many questions. That's please, so cool. Take a look around our village first. We will talk after that. I will be waiting in front of the building we call Junks. Make a meme of what? <laughs> okay, uh, so we now have... A party we are complete we have everybody um, how does our final affinity chart looks right now all right oh no is it happening again
It's doing it again! Hang on. I swear, if, if... I'm gonna be so mad if my internet's dead again. You've got to be joking. I saw a zero. Why? What is... I, I can't. I, I... I... I literally can't. Look at this. 2.1 megabit up. You've got to be joking. You've got to be joking. See you later, cubing. See, this is frustrating, because last time this happened, I could at least say, okay, I'm gonna, I'll break and go do side quests and stuff off camera. But no, I, I literally need to do story progression. And I can't, I need to be on camera for that. I hate my life. <laughs> um, well, last time this happened, the stream just went like. Guess we're done. All right, what we're what we're gonna do?